you don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. I don't care what anyone says, and Demon is the best deck in the game right now. Subscribe right now for more Pendulum content. Now let's get straight into the video. No intro. I'm hyped for this. Let's go. This is the deck profile. I explain everything in depth for you guys. There's a reasoning behind absolutely everything. And honestly, it's an auto win going first or second. I don't even care. I have multiple replays. I'm going to show you guys in the future more different, uh, not so built. There are builds and different duels of me just wrecking everybody. All right. Shout out Matt Dallenberg again. Absolutely clutch of the donations. Breaking in Demons for my boy Matt. So shout out to you, Matt Dallenberg. And you better open up the fast food burger chain you're talking about Dallenburgers. All right. Now let's get straight into the video. We play three Abductor, three Servant. These six are the best card in the deck. Some people don't play Abductor. I don't can't even fathom why. And if you look at this deck, if you haven't seen my video already where I showed you how to do seven negates literally every single turn. You need to play spell books and strikers. These are it's not up for debate. You also need to play into the void, draw cards like this. You absolutely need to. These are the best cards in the deck. They get the deck flowing. All right. If you draw, let's say you draw uh, four Endymion monsters and like uh, Endymion spell institution, whatever. Maybe those hands suck. Those are the worst hands in the game. Let's say you draw Citadel. Like th those suck. They do nothing. They literally do nothing. Uh, th what these cards do is they draw, uh, give you a counter, and then replace the card you just used. So Upstart gives you a free counter, and then you replace it. Into the Void, same thing, same thing, same thing. Just never-ending flowing. And you need this. You absolutely need this. Blue Boy doesn't just give you two counters, but it gives you a plus one. Draw two. Absolutely insane. You don't need your normal summon whatsoever. It literally just has Pot of Greed and two counters. Sky Striker cards, absolutely insane what they do. They give you two counters, they let you draw a card, and they give you two monsters on the field, which is going to be vital for Sayusha plays and Hita plays, which are absolutely crazy. You can do with Hita in this meta where there's fires everywhere, whether it be Electrum, whether it be Kagari, whether it be Salamangrates. You can use Hita almost every single matchup, and it's absolutely crazy what you can do with it, especially with a one engage. Like, one engage could equal uh, 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 Link 4. Like, it could equal Sayusha going down, or just have three materials going downwards. Like, it could do anything. Anyways, I'll explain everything in depth, how it works together. But the way it works together, it just meshes so incredibly well. This deck's absolutely incredible, all right? So, three Abductor, three Servant, three spell Power Mastery. These nine, you want to open one of these nine. And since you're playing infinite draw cards, let's look at all the draw cards you're playing. Three Cerberus, one Bashilis, because Bashilis is a draw card. Four draw cards right there. Triple, uh, blue, a 7, a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You play 18 draw cards in this deck. You're playing a 22-card deck. In a 22-card deck, you want to see one or two of these nine. Uh, you're going to see that. You're playing a 22-card deck. Like You get to see the best cards in your deck at all times. So I'll explain everything. Uh, you need to see these nine because they one of the, or two of these nine because they plus instantly. So... Basically, servant, and it's like you play through hand traps with these. What are they gonna do? Ash your servant, no problem. You play so many damn spells. Uh, Blue Boy counts as a spell, and it, it counts as two spells in itself. So many of these count, don't just count as one spell, but two spell. So, for example, the six Blue Boy cards, the uh, three engages, the four engages, or you know, the four hornets, you have ten cards that equal two spells. Because if you get one of these, ten, one of these six Blue Boy cards, like one of these bubble cards, they equal secrets and they equal knowledge. If you get Hornet or Engage, they equal Hornet and Engage, right? So they equal two spells in itself. These equal two spells in itself. It'll give you two counters, plus it gives you a plus one or plus two, depending on the card, depending on the situation. So rather than having Citadel do absolutely shit all for you, you get to use uh, two counters with these cards, and it gives you a plus. So which is why they're so damn amazing. And anyways, three, six. You play three Ma Ma Magister. Magister in itself by itself sucks. I would play one it, it, just because of its effect, but it's a high skill and it stores spell counters for you. So it's just another high skill that stores spell counters. So rather than playing cards that are, do nothing, like Citadel or Endymion Lab that do nothing, you play cards like Magister that gives you that's a high skill. It's a monster negate because when it's on the field, it gets you uh, another, like a jackal uh, during your opponent's turn. Uh, it gets you high skill, stores spell counters, does multiple things for you. The versatility is amazing of this card. And. And Demia, everyone knows what this card is, what it does. Amazing, amazing, amazing card going first or going second. But uh, obviously, boss of the deck. And another boss of the deck is Jackal King. Now, the main point of the deck is to bring out six of, out of these six cards, you want to bring out four of these six first turn and pair it with a Deco Talker. 
So two Jocko, two Endymion, one Endymion, three Jocko, three Jocko, one Endymion, whatever it may be, three Endymion, one Jocko. Some combinations of the four. Normally you're going to get five of them out, no problem. But these are the bosses of the deck, which is also why you want to play Desires. If you banish three of these six, which you're going to do a lot, and all, or three of your six high skills, because the only high skills in the deck are three Magister, three Endymion, you kind of just lose. So Desires is a little risky. Obviously it's great in the deck, but it's too risky, and you don't want to get rid of your Hornet or your Knowledge. You don't want to play doubles of uh, two Skystriker cards that aren't engaged, or two cards that aren't any of these secrets. Yeah, it's like two Knowledges, because they break by itself. Or not break, but they're not the best by itself. So just Desires is, is simply not necessary whatsoever. And just the way the synergy works of this is just so damn amazing. Like, perfect amount of low scale, perfect amount of high scale. You never see too much of anything. Triple Jocko. Seeing two Jocko is perfect because you want, you want to get as many Jockos and Demions as possible to your hand, into your extra deck. And typically in a turn, Electra's going to send one. You're going to draw a few. You're going to add a few. And you always get four or five all the time. Cerberus has the option of getting Jocko if you are, don't have enough Monster Negates already, or it gets you Bashilis, which gets you a free draw card, which as I said, drawing is, is so important in this deck. All you want to do in this deck is turbo, turbo, draw, 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 cipher through everything, let it be free-flowing, you don't want to ever brick. So what this does is uh, go through your whole deck, it's like most 7 Negate decks brick, right? But the, the beauty of Endymion's is the more they draw, the more consistent it is, and the more you draw, the more Negates you put up. So it kind of is a, a parallel universe where... Uh, the more consistent the deck is, the more negates you put up. So the more drawing you do, the more consistent it is, and the more negates you put up. It's a parallel universe where uh, consistency and power uh, intertwine together uh, in this incredible mash of a deck that I created. Where you just the more draws you can do in an Endymion deck, the more negates you put up. Also making it more consistent. So absolutely amazing. Also making it better going second. Baits out hand tries better. I did multiple videos today in my stream where so many times people would hand trap me, Ogre, Ash, and Permanence, and they do literally shit all. They do nothing, and I still put up five negates through multiple hand traps. It literally does nothing. Nothing at all. And tomorrow's video, I'll show you guys. Uh, but Shilisk is really, really good. I like it more than Garuda. You don't need negates. If you're going for a negate, go for Jackal, but sometimes you're going to want to draw. Sometimes you want more draw. You want just free-flowing. And what Bashilis does uh, in this monster in the monster zone is actually really really good as well. It stores scales and it gets you a plus one. It gets you a jacket from your extra deck to your hand, which is a plus one on the field. Bashilis is just a fantastic card by itself. When you don't have access to Blue Boy, uh, which sometimes hands suck when they don't have Blue Boy. They don't suck, but they don't. They're not broken, broken, broken. You kind of want to see Blue Boy or Sky Striker cards every single turn. And when you don't, I feel like the hand isn't the best. You need to see Blue Boy or Engage, uh, is what I feel. Like, the hand is so amazing with it. Or Into the Voids. Or you need to see the card to just cipher through. And sometimes when you don't have any of them, having a Bashilis because it's just nice. Because, uh, look, it's like these 24 is what breaks the deck, right? These 25. These last 25 cards you see. So forget the first 15. The first 15 are necessary for the actual, like, uh, combo of the deck. But these last 25 is what makes these first 15 amazing, Right? Cerberus can get you this and get you the draw. Cerberus equals the Upstar Goblin. But she'll equal Upstar Goblin. All these cards are either draw or, or search. These last 25. making the, which These last 25 cards you see make these first 15 absolutely incredible. Now, uh, on to the next card. Three Blue Boy, three Secrets. Absolutely incredible. I would love to see two or three of them. And that means you could normal summon something else. Like a Pendulum, for example. And just use seek, uh, search knowledge and send off the other. But it's an absolutely amazing, it literally, you don't need a normal summon in this deck ever. So this card's absolutely broken in this deck. One knowledge, you don't need two, because you only need one knowledge to resolve to win. And drawing knowledge by itself uh, isn't the best, but you can still, obviously, you're just going to go into Crowley in the extra deck and use it anyways. But one knowledge is perfect, all you need. One upstart triple into the void. For those who don't know what into the void does, it's absolutely amazing. Who cares if you discard your hand at the end phase? You set all your spells. Like, all the cards are going to be, you're going to pendulum all your monsters, and you're only left with spells in your hand, so you just set them. Like, they don't ever leave your hand anyways, right? Absolutely amazing card. It literally is just a second, third, and fourth upstart goblin, and in this deck's amazing. The part where it says you have three or more cards in your hand, as long as it's your third card in your hand, it's fine. You're going to have two cards in your hand that activate Into the Void. You can always play around it. It doesn't matter. Absolutely incredible card. I love Into the Void. You're never going to have less than three cards in your hand anyways to resolve this ever because you always have more than that anyways absolutely amazing card uh triple engage you all you always resolve the draw card because uh you have six blue boys equal two spells all these guys so many draw cards you always 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 end up getting it 
And worst case scenario, you're going to get yourself two free monsters, which is vital for so usual plays. And you so usual almost every single turn. And it's just how you turbo through hand traps. Like, what are they going to do? Asher engage? <laughs> no problem. Are they going to Asher blue boy? No problem. You just plus from this, right? You rather them interrupt these cards than something else. And it just lets you cipher through hand traps. What are they going to do? Ask your servant? No problem. You're just going to put two more counters on it by these cards easily. And the hands you draw, engage, you just play like oh, a 25 card deck, you're going to draw engage almost all the time. So you guys know the Sky Secret plays, you know how good it feels, right? When you engage, draw, uh, you're going to be resolved that almost every single turn because you're playing a 25 card deck. Engage, you're going to get off every single turn. You're playing a 25 card damn deck. Uh, next, Triple Institution. I was thinking about playing a, a, a second, like another second secret card, like a Jamming Waves or Afterburner. But going first, it's useless. So going second, depending on the matchup, outside one of them in. Uh, Triple Institution. Institution is also an amazing card. It doesn't brick simply because you play so many damn spell cards and so many cards that could store spell counters for you. So, so Institution is there literally just to search another Servant. Servant is busted. You need to see Servant or Abductor every game, and you have six searches for them. So Institution and uh, Spell Power Mastery search these six. You might as well even put these six up here. Like, there is another one of these 12 absolutely busted cards. You want to see one of these 12 all the time. Because you have so many cards that store spell counters, uh, you're always going to see it. So Institution will always resolve. And with these, I prefer putting it like this. Because these 12 uh, are basically the same. A Doctor and uh, Endemia and Servant uh, accomplish essentially the same thing. These will store counters. This equals Monster Negate in itself or High Scale. Cerberus equals the Monster Negate or the draw one plus I encounters of this we need. And then, oh, look, these 15 at the bottom are the 15 best cards in the deck because they just uh, replace themselves. So these 15 add counters to these cards and replace themselves with more cards, which is why they're so damn broken. So it's like uh, Blue Boy, draw two, add two counters, plus one. It doesn't just replace itself. It replaces itself with two, times two plus adds two counters. Like Hornet gives two counters. And gets you to replace itself by drawing a card that you started it with. And two monsters on the field for free. Absolutely busted. Absolutely busted. These cards just replace themselves. Like, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing deck. I can't say more amazing stuff about this deck. I absolutely love this deck. Now for the extra deck. Electrum and a Crowley. Uh, obviously, Electrum. Crowley. Crowley is broken in this deck. When you don't open Blue Boy, which is an unfortunate, very, 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 very easily... After your Pendulum Summon, you can extremely, extremely, extremely easily go into Crowley with random, like a random Servant or random whatever it may be. And then Crowley will show Blue Boy Secrets and Knowledge. And at the very least, you're drawing two. And most likely, you're getting Blue Boy. You're almost on Blue Boy Secrets Knowledge. You get two more counters on your Pen Summon. Because after your Pen Summon, your Jackal might not have counters, right? So after your Pen Summon, you get yourself a follow-up. You can draw two and add four counters to all your Jackals. And have your after your pen summon have infinite counters on your board. Uh, Crawley is very, very important. And I'll show you guys replay uh, later where I ended up having two monsters on board. And uh, I put them to 500 damage if I wanted to. But it, instead what I did was my Jackal and Cerberus. I'll show you guys later in another video. But I used two of my spell casters with Jackal and Cerberus. Into Crowley. Crowley ended up searching me Blue Boy. And Blue Boy ended up searching me drawing two. I ended up getting engaged. And I ended up from just having two monsters and one card in hand. I ended up having... Five negates and a uh, full hand and full scales and uh, like just from literally just from one Crowley in resolving. One Crowley resolving ended up getting because it got me Blue Boy, which drew, drew me two cards. Those two, two cards got me Hornet. Uh, sorry, got me engaged, which got me another card. Another two cards got me a Saryusha. It ended up giving me scales. I ended up pen summoning Triple Jackal. So one Crowley literally equaled five negates for me. Obviously, not turn one. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yes, turn one. You're not going to make Crawley right off the bat, but being able to draw, it literally just says draw two, and having an extra deck card that says draw two, be having access to public knowledge from your extra deck, Crawley is absolutely amazing. People don't realize that because uh, it literally just says, uh, it says you have a card in your extra deck now that says, imagine there's a card in your extra deck, it's just generically, a card in your extra deck, generic, every card in your deck is a spellcaster. So imagine a card generically just said, uh, tribute one card you control, draw two from your extra deck, like an extra deck card that said that. Everyone will be playing it, and it'll be a two thousand dollar card. So Crowley is incredible in this deck, absolutely amazing. Decode, just a free negate you go into all the time. So usually you go into it every turn. Kagari, you you almost always try to engage. Kinda, you want one card just going downwards, and it's better than Hayate simply because uh, you get to just get a few free life free life points. Why not? And uh, you need one card going downwards. Uh, Hita, so broken in this format. I might, I literally want to play a fire in my my deck just for this. 
now uh, for the going, those are the going first cards. Going second, Daybreaker comes up, Clutch going second. Uh, both, three nightmares of uh, both Boral Swords, uh, Boral Lord, Boral Lord, Sword. You could play Ningirsu if you want, but I took it out for a uh, Griffin and Beatrice package simply because Imperial Order is auto win against so many decks this format. Uh, so, so, so many decks this format. Uh, mainly this one, the best one. And you could easily go double Jackal, Beatrice, and Griffin get it. So you could even play in the side deck if you want a, uh, what's that card? The, the Floodgate, the Continuous uh, Summon Limit. So you could really do what you want in this scenario. You could take out Afterburner if you want. Or I'll take out a Twister for an Afterburner. Or whatever. I, mean, I might even play, uh, I'll keep Twister, take out a Lava Golem. Yeah, there we go. So something of this uh, idea here where it's like uh, Imperial Order and that, and then we'll put Afterburner back, uh, giving you the option here. You you like more options. And now uh, and for the side deck, Severe Mode I think is a must of. Uh, Lava Golem, I, I just like it. Uh, they're just I, I personally think it's a great card. Uh, for Moss, you don't want to side too much. There's not much to side out. The only thing you could possibly side out, there's really I don't want to side out anything. The deck's just too good. Siding out is a whole issue in its own. I don't ever want to side into the Void. It's not just so damn powerful. Uh, I'll talk about siding more in the future, but these five for monster decks, these five, six for spell trap negate, sub -tra spell trap negate decks, and then jamming wave after burner side, one of them going second, depending on the situation, situation and going first order and summon limit. One of them's uh, auto win against every single deck in the game or reboot if you're facing like an alter guys deck. So side one of these in going first, regardless, and then going first, you end up on Endymion, Jackal, whatever it may be, plus uh, one of these. And Griffin, which you're going to get from uh, Beatrice and Griffin so easily. So that's the deck. The deck's absolutely incredible. I've all done myself with this. Honestly, it's absolutely insane. If you guys literally just see, I could do random hands quickly before the end of the video. I'm just going to do like random hands. Look at the first five, okay? Like, look at the first five. This is a this is a busted hand. It, without Blue Boy, it's not that good. Into the Void makes it amazing. Uh, institution, get anything you want. Again, amazing. Amazing hand. Amazing hand. I mean, holy shit. Like, holy shit. Like, Servant. gets you four. Get Servant. Like, do you see how good Engage and Hornet is now? They get, like, Servant. Like, holy shit. You can just, like, these, all these hands cipher through everything. Like, through everything. All these hands I'm showing you are absolutely busted. Every single one. I can't find one bad hand out of anything here. The way it just all so consistent. So many spells. So many draw cards. Absolutely incredible deck. It's the beauty of consistency. And Demi Hunter is one of the best decks I've ever seen in the sense that... In the sense that consistency equals power in this deck. Because the more consistent it is, the more powerful the cards are. Which is why uh, this is one of the decks where I'm going to side with the most in. Because you guys know how much I love power... Uh, but some people say, oh, it's not as consistent. But the way that Endymion's are, it's only powerful if it's consistent. I mean, it's only consistent if it's powerful. So it's an incredible parallel universe where consistency equals power. So this is the deck, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow's video, I'll be doing uh, duels where I destroy people with it. And I'll be showing you guys how to play around hand traps because this deck absolutely blitzkriegs and destroys hand traps. Hand traps don't do shit against this deck. Hope you guys like this video. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.